Have you heard of City Rhythms? Oh my God. This is the video to watch. We have Manhattan, Miami, we have San Diego, and we have New Orleans. Oh my God. So being that I am from New Orleans, this is, ugh, I can't wait to talk about it. Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection and we also talk about particular brands. Uh, I want to say that if you are interested in your brand and you're interested in me doing a review on your line, my information is in the description. Please send it through. I know that everyone who watches my channel would love to hear about your product. But if you are new here and you've never heard of me, my name is Kari Nari. I initially started off on Instagram. So I will always tell people to follow me there. You get mostly of what I post. But I talk about fragrances, talk about layering. I love to layer fragrances. Uh, today's topic is going to be on City Rhythms. And if you have not heard of City Rhythms, stay tuned because you're going to hear about them today. And to all my returning subscribers, I greatly appreciate you and welcome back. So I say, if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. All right, so let's jump into it. I am going to take on this particular brand according to how they came out. Uh, if you would love to know more about the story, you would love to know where City Rhythms came from, how the idea, then he also has a channel here on YouTube that I will list in the description. Uh, he is very uh, proactive and engaging on Instagram. So I'll tell you to go to Instagram to follow him and it will be City Rhythms. And I'll make sure to list all of that for you. But the first fragrance that came out was Manhattan, right? So with Manhattan, and I know that you've seen the bottle, it's absolutely gorgeous. It has a sparkle in it. Uh let me see if I can show you. Yes, you see it. But now this uh, iridescence can either be put into the fragrance or removed from the fragrance. The choice is all up to you. But this one is gorgeous. With Manhattan, you're going to get bergamot, cinnamon. Oh, God, I, I love it. This is um, what I do like about it is you can actually layer his fragrances, but I want to get back to the notes. Okay, so you're going to get bergamot, you're going to get cinnamon, violet leaf, a tea, frankincense, myrrh, you're going to get a pepper note, latterman, tobacco leaf, vanilla, vetiver, and cedar. This one is gorgeous. For me, Manhattan actually absolutely sings it dances in like hot weather it's like that cinnamon makes you kind of spicy but the bergamot bergamot is going to keep you cool that tea note that's in it is like it's light enough but yet it's presence almost like a like a green tea it is absolutely delicious and edible i love this one and i spoke about layering uh, any of these fragrances can be layered together, but Manhattan actually works gorgeous with the next one that I'm going to talk about. All right. This is one of my favorites. So when I got into the line, uh, it took me a minute to get Manhattan, but I immediately ran to go get this one. And this one is Miami Tropical Seduction. That's the name of it. Miami Tropical Seduction. And this one, too, is one that I got all of mine with the the sparkle in it. Oh, this one, you probably have heard about this one on my, on my page so many times because this is my, well, this was my favorite. I would say that it is still in the top, uh, it's in the top two that I reach for. But I love this one because this one has coconut. It is just coconut. It's like a ripe coconut with a touch of lime in it, almost like a drink, right? It feel like you're on a tropical drink, a tropical island, and they just handed you the drink that has the umbrella in it. Either I need to take me a vacation 
But until then, I'm going to keep smelling this. So this one has coconut, lime, saffron. I love a good saffron. Y'all know that. Sugar cane, ylang ylang, jasmine, oxmosis, rum, amagris, tonka bean, cedar, tobacco, and tobacco leaf. So that's where I was saying that these two, the two tobacco leaves that's in here, when you combine them, makes this so sexy. Oh my God. It's like your skin is like bouncing off deliciousness. I love it. I love these two together. So, you know, I love to layer, but those are the two that I layer. But Miami was my number one until another one came along. But I still feel that it's up at the top. All right, the next one that came out, and I got this one when I went to Glamcation. I was blessed to be one of the people who actually walked away with a fragrance that was gifted to them. But I had already told myself that when I got home, I was going to buy it anyway. So I just think that that was, you know, God sent that I actually ended up winning it. One of my wonderful, beautiful friends from Instagram decided that I would be the one needed to get this fragrance and i to this day still thank him for that i am talking about san diego san diego again if you look at it it has that gorgeous iridescent that's on the side of it absolutely beautiful iridescent i love the iridescent now again you can't opt to not get that right that is a choice of yours but with san diego what you're going to get is this juicy blood orange so if you like citrus this is your fragrance because it's blood orange and then it's going to mingle in with a juniper berry and then it just reminds you of a gorgeous sunset like an absolute gorgeous sunset in san diego so you're going to get juniper berry blood orange helitrol sea salt lavender which makes it a little light but not where it's where it gets lost on your skin but it is a very nice fragrance for heat like i'm in texas and we get hot out here it get crazy hot almost to where you just can't take off enough stuff it is so hot this fragrance is gorgeous in that heat it's like it just projects projects so then it's gonna have also nutmeg calalander seed almond jasmine violet leaf iris uh it's almost like a beach wood sea salt sea breeze type note so it kind of make you feel like you're on a beach amagris and vanilla i love this one and to say that i don't have a lot of citrus fragrances in my collection and this is one of the ones that i do enjoy says a lot but if you like citrus this is the fragrance to go get all right drum roll my favorite now it knocks miami out of the position of first it, it is new orleans new orleans is so god it's so good it's so good i don't know if my love for it is because that's where i'm from and it's just where i would love to go back you know and there are times that i get so homesick so when he came out with new orleans i wish i could have been there i wish i could have been a part of the promotion for this just so i can just experience my city but this is not about my city but if you haven't went to new orleans please do please go you're gonna understand why i love it but this one here is it looks like it is just absolutely edible. I feel like when I when I got this one here, I could just almost take a bite out of myself, right? It has all the essence of New Orleans. It has this edible praline in it, right? With just a touch of almost like a like a brochette, right? It just reminds you of Cafe Dumont. It reminds you of what it smells like at Cafe Dumont before they put the powder on the beignet. He bottled it. How about that? He bottled it. It is so sexy. The booziness of it gives you the spirit and the essence of Bourbon Street, right? Where you get real liquor. You don't get that fake liquor. You don't get that watered down stuff, right? The task of going on bourbon in the French quarters is to get you drunk, right? So the hurricanes are true hurricanes. 
the grenades are true grenades. It will, it will lay you out. There are people who go back to New Orleans just for that experience. I absolutely, I love this one. I absolutely love this one. It is, the notes that's in it is black cherry, rhubarb, raspberry, jackfruit, lychee, bergamot, cinnamon, and a butter, like a butter note. Girl or guy, if you're watching. <laughs> Delicious. My mouth is watering, right? It is praline in the heart. Praline, gerangelum, tonka bean, uh, Bulgarian rose, absolute, um, Irkwood, uh, tobacco, a bready note, and hazelnut, right? So you saying it can't get any better than that. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. When it dries down, you're going to get sea moss, vanilla, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, amagrette, vetiver, and bourbon. I can't get enough of it. I really cannot get enough of it. And it's like, I cannot wait for it to just get a little bit cooler here in Texas so that I can just like in November, I think I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Now, thank God that this comes out in 100 mil. And I might need to go get the 100 mil. Oh, God, just smelling it. It's, you, you're going to get the cherry. Like The opening is the cherry, the lychee, the cinnamon, and that butter. Then it moves into the praline. Like I said, this praline is tonka bean. It's just like, it's like sticky delicious. You can almost like close your eyes and just envision the city, envision the music, envision the food, envision just the essence of what New Orleans is and why people who are from New Orleans will always have a place for that location in their heart because it just doesn't get any better. From the people to the food to the good times. That's what I smell. And I absolutely love it. And Shelf's Kiss. This is amazing. And how his line has progressed is astounding to me. But if you don't know by all that I've said, New Orleans is my favorite. So I've told you about Manhattan, which I think works great in like a coolish type weather. Almost like a fall. And then you have that Miami, that Miami is just like sexiness, right? And then you have San Diego seduction. So there is something in this line for everyone. All right. If you haven't heard of City Rhythms, I hope that I've told you about them. I hope that you would reach out to him. And uh, he does do 10 meals. You can also do samples if you're a person who would like to sample first. But I do feel feel you will find something in the line that would um, win you over. Now, he does have one that I did not get only because I like these two fragrances alone that I didn't want to get a bottle of them combined. And the combination of Miami and San Diego is called 2654. And in 2654, you get not like he poured half and half. He did a combination. He pulled some notes from this and notes from this, and then he made another fragrance because one of his um, customers had told him about how they layer these two together. So he came out with 2654, which is the mileage that it takes to get from San Diego to Miami. Isn't that a cool concept? That is an absolute cool concept. And then uh, he also have in his line that if you are a person who you like your uh, fragrance to project, like a fragrance to be unique to you, right? Then you can get a frequent flyer. What that is, is a fragrance enhancer. And it just takes all of your chemistry, what it is that makes you who you are, and it combines it with um, whatever you're wearing. Uh, often I recommend that people get frequent flyer if they have fragrances in their collection that is just not giving them the longevity that they want. Uh, it is similar to Molecule 01, but I think it's so much better. I think it's absolutely so much better and it's something that will last you for a while. You don't have to overspray it. You just hit 
you know, you hit your pulse points and then you put your fragrance on and then it helps it, it helps it project, right? And then he has a whole line that was geared towards uh, being athletic. Now, I think these are fragrances that you can wear anywhere, but uh, it was geared towards, you know, he wanted to give us a gym scent or something that you can wear to the gym because he, um, being uh, athletic is something that is in his, um, his DNA. So that is tempo, pulse, and rhythm. Tempo to me, I think can be worn by anyone if you just want to smell fresh and clean. Pulse and rhythm depends on what it is that you like, what notes that you like. So you can get any one of those. And then he also has a combination that he did is called Heart Sparks. And it was a combination he did with another perfumer and her line is called Shelter and Perfume which I will also list that on the bottom if you want to reach out to her line. Uh, that one, that one is really good. Uh, Heart Sparks is like a cherry tea note. It's pure sexiness in a bottle. They could not have named it anything else but Heart Sparks because it just makes you want to go hug somebody. So I know that I didn't tell you about all of those. I'm pretty positive I've posted the pictures up uh is so many in the line i think that you should go and find something on the line or within it that you would enjoy i think that you would enjoy a ton of things that he makes it is a gorgeous line and that is not because he's advising me to tell you this i fell in love with city rhythms and i haven't looked back so if you had an opportunity to know anything from City Rhythms, please list it in the comments, tell us about it, share it with us so that other people can know that the love is all across the board. If you have um, never experienced anything like uh, City Rhythms and never thought of an idea, which he has a great concept of taking what the city is and combining it into a bottle, here's your chance. I always love doing this with you. Um, this is a lot of fun to, for me, and I knew that I needed to come back and talk to y'all more often. Uh, if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? And hit your notifications to make sure that you catch the video as they post. I'm going to wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, a wonderful afternoon. Whenever it is that you got an opportunity to watch this video, my only request is that you share it so more people can come over to my page and they can know about a person like myself. So on that note, I'm going to bid you a wonderful day and I'm going to see you in the next video.